Next was BlackBerry, because uh, uh, I know that their earnings report the, to the uh, um, analysts was not what they wanted. However, they made more. They uh, they uh, they grossed more, uh, but the profit did go down. Still profitable though, and boy, are they in a tough place because they're you know there is so very international with their old generation phones that are still selling, selling less of, of course, but still selling, and then the new generation of phones, of which, you know, I have the, the C10, but real diehard BlackBerry users are going to get that, the, the Q10, which we won't know the quarterly results until next time, um, because that's the, that is the hub, you know, the physical keyboard that is BlackBerry for most of the users. So I'm sure the majority of the agents of the BlackBerry world uh, that has affected or considering going back was probably not going to go back on the Z10, but the Q10. Uh, although, still, they still, you know, a few million. You're breaking up really bad uh, for some reason. Um, not as much as uh, yes, I can hear you clear as a bell. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. For some reason, urine's not wanting to come through. It's, it's weird. That's now you're loud as hell. I haven't changed a thing. I swear. <gasps> Uh, if you go into settings and sound, you can turn dynamic off. Uh, setting? Where, where's dynamic at? Okay. Um. I see audio setting and then there's video settings, but it has like me, and then like change your picture, webcam settings. But I was just there. could try the PlayStation uh, and see if it's better. Anyway. We'll have to screw around at some point, see if we can't put on it. No. Uh -huh. But anyway, my point on BlackBerry is I want to wait until next quarter to see how the Q10 is doing. And uh, if it's not doing well, then BlackBerry's in trouble. <laughs> I, I, I'm hoping uh, BlackBerry, or even if we have to put up with it, Windows sticks in just so we have a three-way struggle here. Just because I really don't like that it's becoming an Android versus everybody else, and really Apple is falling fast. Um, they, they've made some recent uh, bounce backs with their with their last one, but it it's becoming an Android world. And while I like Android personally, I don't want that to be the ecosystem. I want better competition, more uh, shake-up and forced innovation to keep ahead. Well, last quarter, all the major carriers sold more iPhones than they did Androids. That has to do, though, with the uh, recent releases, though, more than anything else, if we're honest. Huh. If you look at overall market share, it's pretty much becoming an Android world. Interesting. Yeah, Android is like in Spain, Apple's like non-existent almost. Yeah, China, and, and, and China the, is uh, let's see, China is Apple's second largest for profit. They they're saying, but. Android's market share there is far larger. So, see, I bet you, see, China has odd subsidy programs too, by the way, from, from what I've been reading. Anyway, there's a subsidy Apple does a lot. Jesus, Germany is huge uh, in Android. The largest markets, even in the United States, Great Britain is larger than us, Germany is larger than us. Uh, 
Well, let's be honest. Oh, this yeah, is. Yeah. It, it's larger. Spain is larger. Chat is larger. Austria is larger. And Mexico is larger. So, as well as all these countries that are just listed, it, it's the largest in the U.S. Well, and you know, ironically, it has to do in part with the type of advertising. All the countries you're naming have truth in advertising laws where half the crap Apple does that's a little deceptive to get you flashy behind the Apple isn't legal. You're not allowed to do it. Um, I don't think that they're. The, the ones that I've seen, man, are uh, Apple Music and touchy feely commercials that I don't get. The touchy-feely gets broken when you're not allowed to do the touchy-feely moments. There's no legend for this thing I'm looking for. It's these one point right there that you want to do because they're too bad. Well, that one's an Android, so I guess you don't. No, a a Android's a great platform. Yeah, I love it. I, I just... That's what the, her car's uh, Bluetooth. Uh, ever since she started using this damn Bluetooth thing in her car, she used to wear the headphones. Right. And, but, and, and we're constantly being played by Buffalo, she can't hear me. Like the Skype call. <laughs> Are you on a Bluetooth? Is that what's going on? <laughs> but, I mean, ever since she started this damn Bluetooth thing, it's driving me crazy. I tell her, just, you know, ignore that damn cheap feature in your car and put the damn earplugs back. Because it's frustrating. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm i still a firm advocate of you shouldn't be talking while driving. Don't talk and drive. Don't text and drive. Drive and drive. You know, and none of this yeah. other shit. Just, uh, I'm sorry. If so no, no, no. They've done studies on that. It makes no real difference whether your hand's free or not. It's, this, it's the distraction. You're not paying attention to driving. You're paying attention to the conversation. My rule is fanatically, if you call me and I'm in the car, I make push the button to answer it, but my immediate response is, I'm driving, and I pull off the road. Like, you, have, you wait till I pull off the road, and I can dedicate the attention to you, and I'm not going to plow into somebody. That's my rule. And I wish more people had that. But no, it's like, oh, it's okay. Ah, you asshole. <laughs> I almost killed you, but that's your fault. <laughs> well, she's on the road for an hour and a half. Uh, boring drive, not much traffic. Uh, and uh, so that's like three hours of her day. So we have to talk. Now, um, Apple smartphone market share rebounded by a half a percent of market share in May. Android's market share remained above. Uh, this is from Forbes, July July second. Says Apple gained smartphone market share in the U.S. in May. While Android gained share in China based on Qatar's most recent survey. So who's, who who was there? Are they respectable? I don't even know. Uh, Sometimes you know they, they make all these damn articles on. You know, I, I, I treat all of these metrics with a grain of salt because they all have a certain amount of bias. Totally bullshit. But in the overall trend of things, it, it, it's uh, it, it's becoming the Android world, and I, I why I love it. You know, I'm like, no, Google should have to compete for every single user they have. They should have to continue to innovate and compete. Just because I'm an Android user today doesn't mean I should be one tomorrow. They have they should keep having to earn me. And I don't want them to get a, uh, for lack of a better word, a Microsoft-like presence in this market. It, it would not be good for the market. Right. Hey, let me uh, switch down and see what else. Okay.